The lecture, which was on the theme Ethics in News Reporting, the Post-Truth Era, was attended by students and lecturers of the university, other tertiary institutions, some media stakeholders and members of the general public. The lecture sought to enlighten participants on how to make practical the ethics of journalism in an era where fake news and past standard reportage seems to take over the media space. The most important thing is for all of us to understand the impact fake news has. Clearly a connection with social media. I mentioned uh, uh, incidences that happen in Rwanda, incidences that happen in Ivory Coast and all across the world and even here in Ghana. Um, those connections that we can now see between the rhetoric on fake, new, uh, fake news rhetoric and the impact it's having on behavior, how people politicize everything. Explaining what makes up the truth in journalistic reportage, the guest lecturer asserted that various conditions could vary the truth However, the processes followed at arriving at it must be ethical. We need to go back to the basics of where we listen to each other, we are civil to each other, we engage with each other, we agree to disagree, but everything is done in a manner that is respectful for each other's point of view. Chairperson for the occasion, Madame Beatrice Abbey, CEO of the Media General Group, also pointed out that lectures like this is important to the professional growth and capacity building of the students' journalists. As journalism students, as communication students, Debating what is truth and what is not, there's only one truth. You have to be factual. You should try as much as possible not to put interpretation and spin to the issues. Your duty is to investigate, to verify, to check, cross-check your facts before you put it out there. 